This is the 2019 Chevrolet Camaro and this is the 2SS trim. If you want to see more cool videos like this, take a minute, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification at the top so you never miss one of these videos. friends at Mankato Motors selling wonderful beautiful Chevrolet automobiles in beautiful Mankato Minnesota hey folks I'm Rob and I'm Nathan and we are two, two guys, guys in a ride. ride Nathan what do we got today hey today we are here with the 2019 Camaro SS 2 SS 2 SS that's, that's the correct trim level. It's a 2 SS yeah and boy this thing is beautiful I'm gonna take you for a tour of the outside tell you the specs uh, the, yeah, I, I'm, I'm blown away. I can't remember it all because this thing is so fantastic. It's cool, but I'll tell you the specs, the horsepower, talk about the styling, talk about its cargo capacity. Nathan? I'm going to take you for a tour on the inside, show you the whole interior along with the technology and some of the safety on this vehicle. All right, but first, what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go take for a ride. ride. Okay, first ride, first impressions. Here we go. And what are we driving in today, Rob? A car. <laughs> well, this is a hardly uh, any car. Oh right, this is a 2019 Chevrolet Camaro. This is the 2SS trim. But man, oh man, this thing uh, should be on Broadway or in a musical because <laughs> it can sing. So, what's your first impressions? You know, my my first impressions are yes, I like. <laughs> The, um, the steering is really firm. I mean, it's nice. It's not overly firm, but right. I really, really, really like that. Got a little chance to drive it earlier when we were doing some filming. And, oh, a little hot rod is what it is. The, the drive is, is awesome. The... Uh, Obviously, plenty of headroom. The seats are very comfortable. They're nicely bolstered. Um, the uh, I, I just this has several modes for driving. And right now, I just said I have it set in tour mode, and it is plenty uh, responsive. So I really like the layout of the car. Uh -huh. I, 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 in particular, I really like the dashboard. I think that's really nice, nicely set up with the analog uh, RPM and speedometer, but the nice big digital screen with all the digital instruments at the top. Um, like, a, like a sports car, the ride is, a, you feel the road, okay. and you you hear the road a little bit more than you would in, say, you know, a, a more upscale luxury sedan. Oh, sure, sure. Um, but that's to be expected. It's a sports car. It's a Camaro. And, that's and the whole reason you the Camaro expect was, to be any uh, different. Right, exactly. I like the lines on the hood when you're sitting in the seat here. Oh, you got that power dome hood. Yeah, you and it's... See, you can see the vents out front. I like how easy on the dashboard, and I'll show you this in the review, but on the dashboard, uh, Chevrolet has made it really easy for you to see which buttons you're supposed to push to access something. And and I, I, I like that. Oh, okay. It makes it very easy to navigate uh, the driver's information center. Okay. Um, I would say, and this is just a short ride, um, the one thing that I noticed that I, I would change if I were a designer um, is the slant of the of the uh, infotainment screen. It is slanted slightly backwards, and I'd like it to be flat or slightly slanted towards me. I'm getting a lot of reflection um, from the screen from where I'm sitting. Uh, the screen itself is beautiful. Um, but I would like that, I would slant it differently. Yeah, it's not even straight up. It's certainly not laid back like a lot of the screens are. It's not even straight up. It's like the top of it is actually leaning back toward us where the bottom is set back. It's just kind of an odd angle. And I'm sure they did it because they were worried about the sun glare, but now you're picking up all the glare of everyone's lap that's in the front seat. Yeah. 
the uh, the overall ride quality um, sitting up here in the front is exactly what you'd expect out of a sports car. It's firm, but it's nimble. All right, so I am going to pull over here, unfortunately, and let Rob drive. Lord help us. <laughs> okay, so I love the heads-up display. It's multicolor. And I'm sure, uh, do you know, is it, is it adjustable left, right, up, down? Um, I've not checked up that yet. Okay. It, you can change the information that's oh, okay. displayed, and you can change the brightness. Right. Um, I've not seen, and those are all physical buttons. Okay. I've not seen yet where you can adjust it uh, left, right, or up, or down. We've seen some uh, other vehicles where you can adjust it left, right, up, or down. Okay. But it is, you've seen it really clearly? Yeah. Yeah, it was the same with me, and we're slightly different heights, but um, it was very, very vivid. I like it, it's hanging out right over the hood. Yes. Right in view, it's not obstructing your view, but it's just uh, easy eye movement, just down a little bit, and there's your speed and everything. Yep, really I know cool. you can see you can see your speed, you can see um, your RPMs, uh -huh. you can also switch and see your, your media information, like what channel you're on or what okay. you're listening to, and a compass. I don't know, this comes with navigation, so I don't know if you have navigation on. It'll give, prob probably will give you turn by turn. Oh, sure. And the heads up is my guess. Well, you know, I'm just driving it down the highway right now, and you know, you were saying that earlier. But if you if you drive it like it's a sports car, you're going to feel it a lot more. Right now, it's extremely comfortable to me. We, you know, we just went over a bridge and hit a little bit of the bumps. It's not bad. It's you feel it, but it's nicely cushioned. And then you know the steering and it's signal here. Get over. Oh man, it's you think about it, and it's just nimble. It'll go from lane to lane with just barely a turn. And I like the steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel. Got the SS marking on it. Uh, you got the buttons in the center. You'll show that later. But you've got the thumb grips, the hand, hand grips. Just nicely padded steering wheel, too. Yeah, I like the steering wheel. Wow. I like it. One of the things I was saying, too, because you've always heard that, oh, when the Camaro, it's got like a ton, a gun turret look because the top is so squat and the, uh, the belt line is so high up to your shoulders practically when you're sitting in it. But I don't feel that enclosed in here as I thought I would. And this is the first time I've ever been in the Camaro. No, I mean, a couple of inches of headroom. Right, so, right. And legroom is, yeah, ridiculous. Now, probably I, looking back and trying to back up is probably a little harder, but you do have your mirrors and your, and your backup camera. Uh, but overall, I, I think it's good visibility. You want to spend your time in here and drive, you don't get to admire how nice this car looks on the outside. I keep looking in the back just so I can see the rear hips and that little bit of a spoiler angle, uh, yeah. but you don't get to see a lot of it unless it's parked and you're walking up to it. Well, heck, then you just want to hop in and drive. Yeah, it, so. it's got, it's, <laughs> I agree. I think it's spectacular. And in, in, and in this color blue, and I'll, we'll look at oh, the tag. Oh, I love the color. We'll look at the tag and tell you exactly what color blue it is. But my gosh, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful day here, not a cloud in the sky. So um, you folks are in for a real treat, I got to tell you. Okay, so Nathan, can, All we, right. can we observe a moment of silence for? Yes, we can. Have made it go longer and louder, but you know, we hit the speed limit, and that's that's it, that's where we're gonna go. <laughs> so, Nathan, if yes. you will brace yourself, we're gonna do the brakes. All right, got here it. we go. Oh, holy cow, those are grabby! I and I let off of them because it was about to pull me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, okay, highly recommended because if you can go fast, you're gonna need to stop fast. Yes, and this baby's got the ability to do both so. Well, as we see it, there are seven basic trim levels, starting with the LS that uh, starts at 25,495 up to 27,490. The LT starts at 25,995 up to 29,485. The 2LT that starts at 28,495 up to 31,485. The 3LT I'm not going to keep up with the numbers. I'm just going to post it all down below in the description so you can see. So there's the 3LT, there's the 1SS, the 2SS, and the ZL1. Uh, this happens to be the 2SS that we're reviewing today. It's starting at $42,995 and up to $44,590. This vehicle is also available as a soft top convertible in multiple trim levels as well. 
Of course, there are a myriad of engine choices ranging from a two liter turbo four with a six speed transmission all the way up to the 6.2 liter V8 supercharged direct injection engine with 10 speed paddle shift automatic transmission. And I just giggle at that because it's like, man, it's awesome. This is a 6.2 liter, but this one is not supercharged. Um, so what we're taking a look at today, this has 455 horsepower in the trim that we have here, and it has 455 pound foot of torque uh, with a six-speed transmission. Now this one has the automatic uh, and it's in rear wheel drive, of course. This particular car is stickered at 45980 On the front end, the tires are 24540 YR20s and the rear tires are 27535 YR20s. They have 20-inch bright five-spoke silver painted aluminum wheels with summer tires only some are only tire excuse me uh, the front wheels are 20 inch by eight and a half the rear are 20 inch by nine and a half so you do have a staggered uh, wheel tire combination here uh, i guess you could put all seasons on it but these are summer tires that are on it now you do have also available goodyear eagle f1 supercar g2 28530 r20 front and 30530 r20 rear summer only tires and of course any of you folks that watch these videos and understand tires will know that being that it's a summer tire only it does have a softer compound that doesn't do well in temperatures below uh, what 50 45 50 degrees so that's why they're saying summer only the front suspension on this are McPherson struts and it does have a multi-link rear suspension the exterior length is 188.3 inches riding on a wheelbase of 110.7 inches. The exterior body width is 74.7 inches. Its overall height on the hardtop, 53.1 inches. Interior cargo volume in the trunk, and I'll show you that in just a minute, is uh, rather modest, uh, smallish, uh, nine cubic feet. And as we see it here, its curb weight is 3,685 pounds. We talked about the steering earlier and how nimble it is. Its turning circle is 38.1 feet. This does have rear park assist and a heads-up display, and Nathan will show you that heads-up display, and we talked a little bit about it in our ride. It has a limited slip rear differential. It also has a rear differential cooler. The rear axle is 3.73 ratio. Brembo front and rear performance anti-lock brakes. Does have extra capacity cooling system. Auxiliary engine coolant, heavy duty air to oil cooler, Stabilitrack electronic stability control system with traction control, dual outlet exhaust with bright tips, a rear stanchion spoiler, and then body colored, uh, body color heated driver side auto dimming outside mirrors. Fuel economy on this vehicle. Uh, good luck getting it because as Nathan and I will show you showed you in the drive we kept our foot in it and uh, Well, that's just obvious. You don't get as good as gas mileage, but if you're cruising along and behaving uh, They're rating this at 16 city 24 highway and 19 combined and the fuel capacity on this vehicle is 19 gallons I'll take you for a quick tour and show you a few things. I'll show you first um, the door handles and you've got the chrome spot there to be able to push to if you got the key fob in your pocket to lock and unlock you see the shark fin spoiler up top and uh really cool on the stanchion uh spoiler again the stanchions are just the uprise the the uh the risers to lift the spoiler off the trunk so it's not a lip spoiler i like the detail of the rear tail lights that's really cool and i'll show you the exhaust tips now, one of the rubs on the uh, Camaro has been the small uh, opening to access the trunk. And it is kind of small and it's kind of odd shaped, but, you know, I mean, it, come on, it's a sports car. But you do get quite a bit of uh, storage and you see it is kind of deep. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of deep. It's good distance in there. But you do get a little bit of storage capacity in there, which isn't bad at all. Enough for a weekend, uh, weekend trip. Not, uh, you're not moving away anywhere. So it'd be plenty for that. You see the backup camera here in the spoiler. 
take you about around there's the uh, the SS badging on it take you back around the side of it show you the detail lines on this you got the fuel cap there beautiful beautiful wheels I like the design of those they look like they're uh, in motion I like the cut line along the bottom and you got the hip lines very nice and then on the front you've got this uh, this is an actual open got a leaf there we're under a tree for the shade that's okay um, these are actual functioning air vents to let heat out that's really cool let me see if I can give you a shot of the top the bubble top there with the indention love that show you back around to the front end absolutely beautiful love the design love the detail love the blacked out uh, look of this gives it a very aggressive look and by all means hey you're in a Camaro SS it's going to be aggressive love that look at that nice view nice view overall I think they've done an excellent design uh, job with the design I love the body side lines I love the uh, detailing uh, it, it really does evoke the late 60s Camaro look and uh, it's, it's done a terrific job on that I think it's a it's well done Chevrolet very well so I'm going to hand this off to Nathan. He's going to take you on a tour of the inside and show you all the technology and gizmos as well as the uh, details and seating and everything else. And there he comes. Look at him. He can't even wait. He's like, he's uh, super excited to get into here. So, all right, Nathan. Well, I've got the keys. Right? <laughs> I'm going to do a review of the interior. Instead, I'm going for a ride. It's all yours, Nathan. Take it away. All right. Come on in, folks. Okay, and here we are on the inside of the 2019 Camaro 2SS and you have got a nice little storage bin up here for something a little bit smaller, uh, could fit a phone, uh, and then over here you've got your grab handle, you got your auto uh, up and down windows for the front, and then you have your mirror controls up here. Down here you have uh, your trunk release, and then of course one of the Bose speakers as well as your uh, two position uh, memory seats and then of course your lock on lock buttons. I do like kind of the satin uh, stainless steel look here and then the little blue accent that uh, is in the door. Okay. Now uh, coming over to the uh, seat here, well before I get to that I love how they put the Camaro badge right on the door sill that looks really nice and um, underneath it is it is plastic uh, black plastic but then there's a chrome colored piece underneath here or at least it looks like chrome it's kind of covered with plastic it's a little hard to tell if it's stainless steel or chrome but looks really nice okay the seats are awesome they got the SS badge on them hey they're leather they're perforated they are heated and ventilated I love the uh, the light gray accent on the dark gray and then along with the white stitching and then down here you've got a one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight-way power. Okay, uh, stepping over here on the uh, inside, you got your hood release down here. Up here, you've got your, you have your heads up button here that'll uh, raise or lower your heads up display. You've got the what show, what kind of information shows and then the brightness or dimness of the screen. This is your brighter dimness of your dashboard uh, lights. And then uh, the rest of it I'll show you from inside. So stepping on the inside of the 2019 Camaro 2SS, uh, you've got a, a fantastic dashboard. So you've got the analog RPM and miles per hour. You have a nice large driver's information screen. This is all digital and they look fantastic. Okay, and then down here you've got information that you can manipulate along with the steering wheel controls. So speaking of that, we'll just come down here. This right here is your collision alert. And each time you press it, it lessens the gap before it warns you or turns it off completely. We are of course gonna leave it on as far ahead as we can get it. Okay, we have a heated steering wheel. I like it that the light comes on when you press the button so you know it's on. Okay. Down here, you've got your cruise control on and off, resume or set. And then over here on this side, you have your voice command for your navigation. You have your phone hang up. And then these cursors here, along with the select button, run all the information in your driver's information center. 
What I really like about this, and, and I'll do a little bit more about that um, later, is that these little arrows here tell you which button you can push to access a menu. So sometimes there's one, sometimes there's four, sometimes there's three, but it tells you which arrow here you should be pushing. I think that's a really good design. I, I really like that. Down here, you actually have stereo controls for your infotainment system, and this is like uh, your favorites. This goes, goes up and down, and the switches don't push they, from the top. They push from the bottom. Okay, over here, you have your volume controls, and they work the same way. They don't push from the top. You have to push them up from, from the bottom. All right. So, and then I really love the SS logo at the bottom. Okay, um, up in the uh, dashboard, specifically, if I go through some of the met, uh, what's available, okay, you of course, let's go to the top. Okay, so you have information. Okay, and now you see the arrows that go up and down in the middle. So if I use my up and down arrows, I can scroll through different pages of information. This does have the speed limit reading sign capabilities. Okay. So you've got quite a few things you can toggle through. Now you notice on some of them, the left arrow will light up. And if that case, all you do is take and click right, and then it'll give you another sub menu. But they make it really easy to understand. So let's go back here. Here's uh, performance. So now down here, you get a bunch of different gauges. Okay, so oil temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, transmission fluid temperature, tire temperature, I love that. And then back to oil uh, temperature. Okay, let's go back here, we'll go to audio. Okay, um, this is in demo mode because uh, it's not, not been purchased yet, so I can't really show you there, but that's where you would access your audio. Here is your navigation. Okay, again, that's in demo mode. Let me, let me, uh, there we go. So currently all we have there is just a um, compass. But if you were to program a spot in the navigation over here, it will show up here under navigation in the screen, giving you turn by turn. All right, now let's go back here, and well, this is where you would set up a phone. There is no phone connected, so we can't do anything there. And then finally, you get to options. Okay, and here is where you can you do launch control. You can set the, uh, some of the just basic settings, like is it US or metric, uh, standard theme. Um, and if I go here to the standard theme, you notice I get that right arrow again. So now I can have a technology theme if I want. And then I get this really cool display, right? which I like. So a lot of customizable things in here. All right, moving on. Over here to the infotainment screen, we have a Bose sound system there. I tried it on the ride over. It sounds really great. Um, let's hit the home button. So the only physical buttons you really have is the power button, the volume button, uh, backwards and forwards seeking on uh, you know, like a radio station or um, skip a song in Pandora or something. This does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, but you have the home button and you have the back button. So up here you've got, you know, your audio. So let's just click and show you what that kind of looks like. You've got your sources over here. Uh, you can uh, tune. Okay. You can enter a channel physically or we can um, switch over here. All right. Let's go back. And you notice that the shortcuts show up underneath here, which I think is really nice. Okay, so let's go back to home for a minute. And we already see navigation. Let's go, uh, I'll just kind of show you what else is here. So this gives you a split screen display. So it's whatever you currently have selected, like your media, and tells you if your phone's connected, and then it will show your GPS. So it gives you a couple of things and one screen, which is nice. Okay, you do, this car does come with ambient lighting, so this is where you would set that up. You also have access to on-screen controls for your climate control. However, all the physical buttons are down here. So we'll finish uh, up here real quick. Okay, so one of the things that I did wanna show you on the uh, infotainment system is if you click on settings, 
And then there's three different pages to it. So one, two, and three. If you click on vehicle, this is where you're gonna uh, be able to access a lot of the features on the car. Uh, so if I go into driving mode, for instance, I can affect the engine sound. You've got everything from auto to stealth to track and sport and tour. Okay, if I go to steering here, I can select auto or tour, sport, or track. Now, don't forget you have the mode button that's down here as well. Okay, but this one has to do with, uh, especially the engine sound, has to do with the exhaust. Okay, let's go back one. Climate and air quality. Okay, and you can turn things on or off. Auto-cooled seats, so at a certain temperature when you start the car, if it senses it's so hot outside, it will then... Um, turn on the auto cooled seats or the auto heated seats or the auto defog or the auto rear defog so some really nice uh, things collision and detection systems okay you got your lane change alert you can turn on or off park assist rear uh, rear camera park assist symbols and rear cross traffic alert okay comfort and convenience you can change the chime volume the reverse tilt mirror so if I go here and I hit this and I say driver and passenger on exit out and I look at the mirrors when I go into reverse watch the mirror the auto tilt down so you can see next to your wheels much better and then the minute you go to drive they tilt right back up again okay um, you do have some ambient lighting in this vehicle so you can set those things from here Power door locks, remote lock and lock, unlock start, seating positions. You do have a teen driver in a setting and a valet mode. So I just want to show you that one particular setting, you know, uh, for vehicle under settings. All right. Um, uh, the only other thing in addition to that is it does have a 12 volt outlet. All right. Moving down here, you, like I said, you do have physical controls for all the climate controls. So this up here is kind of redundant. Um, but you have uh, ventilated seats, you have heated seats, three stages each. Here's where your temperatures are displayed. You got your defroster, you got your different modes right here, power on off. They do have a physical sync button. So if the, uh, the passenger decides to change their temperature, and I love this because they took this out of the Chevy Blazer, uh, but I can take and rotate this silver piece and it changes my temperature. But if I want it to match up with my uh, drivers, I just hit the sync button and it goes right back. I also love these little open and close vents right here. I can show you this side a little easier. You know, if you can see that, there's completely closed and there it's open. And then of course you can rotate this thing to point whatever direction you want it to. I like that feature. Okay, moving down here, you've got your hazard button down here and then you have your shifter and you can also so you have two three ways of shifting you can just leave it in drive or you can put it over in uh, sport mode and then you can do the uh, tiptronic shifting here or you can use the shift paddles up here whatever's your preference okay down here you've got traction control on or off and then this is where you switch the modes so if i look up here and i'm pressing that mode button i've got tour sport track and snow and ice uh, and those change various settings on the car uh, from steering to uh, shift points and that kind of thing all right you do have your parking brake which is electronic we set it right here and then moving on we have dual cup holders I, I like the illumination point sometimes at night it's hard to see so I like that and then uh, your push button is right here and it's a push in lift this up it's a long handle and there's a small amount of storage in here so let's uh take a look here all right so there's a little bit of storage right there you do have i'm gonna try to get a better angle here to get this but um have, there we go you have two usb and then that would be your navigation sd card and then you have a 3.5 millimeter input jack Okay, over here you do have an automatic chromatic dimming mirror. Up here, of course, you've got your uh, lamps and then your emergency assist stuff up here. Down over here, the both visors are, are telescoping and the lights are um, LEDs. And when you open them, 
they start soft and then brighten up. Hey, I did want to show you the heads up display. All right, so pressing that uh, heads up display button, I can lower it or I can raise it. Okay, I can also change the information. Oh, let's raise it up a little bit so it's on the black of my car. There you go. So you got your RPM and your speed. You got just your speed. And then you've got your radio stations and what's playing. And then uh, navigation and speed. And then you're back to the RPM and speed. Um, glove, the glove compartment. It's fairly standard. It's pretty large. So overall, I really like the layout of the car. Uh, the seats are really nice. And I like the dashboard layout. I like this, this flat part right here. And then you got this nice little bubble with a heads up display up there. Um, and it comes right back down here, kind of flows right underneath the shelf and comes back with the door. Um, I just really like that layout. But let's hop in the back seat since it is a four seater and let's just see what it's like. Headspace, of course, is very tight. My, my head is, is straight up against her. In fact, I can't even lean against the seat. Um, and my legs are pushed up against the, the front seat. This could go a couple, another inch or two forward and I would be fine in the front. That would alleviate the leg room, but I'm a little tall for the back seat. But it will work okay for kids. Back here, we've got a little uh, tubby hole right here, which is nice. You do have a passenger side seat pocket. You do have uh, a speaker in the rear. And then they put in a little armrest for you, which is convenient. And that's just the same on both sides. So how do you get out of here? Really easy. You just take this latch, pull it up, and push the seat forward. I believe these are freshly painted lines or fairly close All right, to well it. then I'm going to straddle them so we don't get white paint on this nicely uh, blue painted Camaro as the guys from... Um, as Clarkson and the group would call it. A we, we, we call them Camaros, but you know, uh, Jeremy Clarkson, he, uh, they, they do pronounce it Camaros. That's like aluminum. Uh, aluminum. Yeah. Yes. What the world is that? <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson, if you're watching, it's aluminum. <laughs>